The Maine Department of Health and Human Services is hoping a new federal program will help improve services to prevent child abuse. The department announced that Maine is one of the first 15 states to have a family first grant approved by Washington two years after the program was passed by Congress. It will bring $2.4 million a year. But some of the legislature say the department needs more than a grant to fix the problems. Don Kerrigan is here now with more. Hi, Don. Hi, Cindy. Uh, the Department of Health and Human Services says that that grant will help them provide more services to families with children who are at risk of being abused. But it also comes at the same time the legislature's OPECA agency is investigating the DHHS child welfare system following the deaths of at least three children in June at the hands of their parents. The DHHS Office of Child and Family Services is celebrating the federal government's decision to improve its Family First Plan. That will bring more than $2 million per year to help provide additional services to families so children don't have to be removed from the home. Well, I certainly believe that this new provision of these services certainly are going to enable our staff and our caseworkers uh, to more uh, accurately de determine whether or not a child needs to stay in the home with services or if the child needs to come into the care and custody of the department. That decision making has been a prime area of criticism from the state's child welfare ombudsman. Her concerns helped to prompt the legislature to order a further investigation by the OPEGA government watchdog agency. That work is now underway. At the same time, DHHS hired the nationally known Casey Family Programs to evaluate the child welfare system. That study should be done by the end of next month. Todd Landry says the state won't hesitate to take a child out of a home if they are at imminent risk of harm, but insists that the new services could make some of those situations better. And one of those risk factors, for example, could be specific parent uh, coaching processes and home visiting where staff go into their homes, contracted staff would go into those homes, work with the parents in order to uh, assist them to be more successful in working with their toddler. He says in that case, department staff would continue to monitor the family and make sure the child stayed safe. Now, we talked with State Senator Bill Diamond, who's been one of the leading critics of the child welfare system in the legislature. He said he hopes that the new, the new services will help, but said he still believes strongly that the culture within the department uh, causes a problem and when it comes to handling these cases. Now, as we mentioned, the uh, OPEGA government watchdog agency is investigating all this for the legislature and lawmakers on the government oversight committee have said they will be more than willing to try to force more changes in the department once that investigation is completed.